powerful signals of an awakening to aggression and injustice. No war, please. This is what a number of athletes and celebrities are advocating for. Russian tennis star Andrei Rublev asking for peace after his win Friday. Hundreds of journalists signing a petition. Uh, the director of the Bolshoi Ballet signing a petition. Even the children of oligarchs and of Kremlin officials speaking out on social media against the war. And a Russian lawmaker who voted with President Putin just this week now saying, I didn't vote for Kyiv to be bombed. Man, you've got to give credit to people protesting this war because you know how brave it is to speak up against Russia inside Russia? Like, I'm not even in Russia, and I'm gonna test my coffee for poison after this show. Like, you know, it's, it's always funny how people in America think the world has ended when they get banned from Twitter. But think about it, in Russia, they don't delete your Twitter, they delete your life. And it's not just many Russian civilians who are against the war. No, one reason the invasion might not go as well as Russia has hoped is that even some of its own soldiers reportedly don't want to be there. Many of them thought they were just doing military exercises, and they weren't even told that they were being sent into war. Just think about that. I mean, I think we can all agree that war is the worst kind of surprise there is. I mean, well, that and the, the reveal on Love is Blind. Oh, you have a face tattoo in the shape of a goatee. I'm so happy. So, even within Russia, people are standing up and risking their lives to stop an unjust war, which is probably why Putin is resorting to things like this. Putin is ramping up efforts to control the narrative at home, banning media from characterizing Russia's attack on Ukraine as an assault, invasion, or declaration of war. Instead, state-run media propaganda paints Ukraine as Nazi aggressors and Putin as Russia's defender. Russian state TV has not been showing Russian forces attacking Kiev or attacking Kharkiv. Russians who watch TV don't really see all the things that are going on in Ukraine. We have seen crackdowns on social media over the last couple of days. Twitter has been operating at an absolutely sluggish pace. The Russian government has said it will censor parts of Facebook. Wow. So not only is Putin cracking down on dissent, but he's lying about what's actually happening. Yeah. He's even banning the media from calling it an assault, an invasion, or a war. All of the things that it is, by the way. Which means Russian newscasters must be, like, deep in their thesaurus. How do you even describe this? Now to our ongoing coverage of the uh, international bullet exchange taking place in Ukraine right now. What's crazy about this whole thing is how Russia isn't banning Twitter. Did you see that? They said they're just slowing it down, like really slowing it down, which I feel like is somehow worse, you know? I mean, if you ban Twitter, fine, you've banned it. At least that way people get, you know, time. You'll be more productive. You're not productive. I would be if Twitter suddenly disappeared. I have so much more time to watch TikTok. So look, people, there's really no sugarcoating the situation right now. Despite the bravery of Ukraine and the efforts around the world to punish Russia, this invasion might get a lot worse before it gets better. And if Putin is as crazy as he seems, our only hope at this point is that, like, some hero Ukrainian farmer will come tow him and his giant ass table away as far as possible. All right, we gotta take a quick break, but when we come back, We'll hear Roy Wood Jr.'s address on the state of black shit. You don't want to miss it. Are you a conservative who praised Vladimir Putin and now wish you hadn't? Then you need Tyranol, the drug that makes you forget you applauded a tyrant who is now slaughtering civilians. This miracle pill can help you go from this... It might be worth asking, why do I hate Putin so much? Why do I why care about what's going on in the conflict between Ukraine and Russia? Be and why shouldn't I root for Russia, because which I am? To this... Vladimir Putin started this war. He is to blame for what we're seeing tonight in Ukraine. Incredible. Tyranol works by invading your sovereign mind and attacking any previously held memories or beliefs. Just listen to this satisfied customer. Vladimir Putin is a very talented statesman. I consider him a elegantly sophisticated counterpart. We've seen a Russian dictator now terrorize the Ukrainian people. And if you've been praising Putin for years, then try Tyranol Extended Release. Putin has done a, an amazing job. Putin has much better leadership qualities than Obama. President Putin was extremely strong and powerful. President Putin is sharp. He's a guy who's very savvy. I know him very well. You have not only Putin, you have other people that are stone-cold murderers and thugs and 
dictators that are very dangerous. Tyranol extended release is not 100% effective. Tyranol may cause side effects, including permanent resting constipation face in some patients. It's time to stop regretting and start forgetting. Tyranol, out with the Vlad, in with the good.